So I'm getting all geared up this morning. I'm about to do some river hunting. Have my friend Michael Heim with me, AKA Preacher Digger. This is all of our gear. A lot of stuff here. Have our AT Pros. Getting the kayaks off the truck now. I'm about to head on down to the river. We have launched off, heading down the river, and here comes the storm. <laughs> it's raining pretty good. I have never seen trees grow like that in the middle of the river. Go over there and get a look at them, maybe. Very cool scenery here. Michael's going first. Testing the water. So see if he flips. Whoa, he hit the rock. Now it's my turn. I'm kind of like anchored out right here. Class one rapids, very easy. But if you've never done this before, it would seem pretty scary. See if I can give him a push. Hang tight, I'm coming over there. Always be careful when you're getting out of kayak in the river. You never know how deep it is. You got it? <laughs> what a day. We didn't check the weather this morning, that's for sure. We just kind of go with the flow. You know what I mean? Take a look at these cypress trees. Very cool. So I finally got all geared up, ready to do some detecting. Run the AT Pro today. Have it set up in Pro Zero, iron discrimination at 22 and sensitivity two bars from the top. Somebody lost their knife out here. I wasn't even expecting it either. First find of the day. First real good find. Wow. Michael's down there. You don't even know I found it yet, but that is just so cool. I'm all tangled up right here. Let me get undone. Uh, I'll see what happened. Rope from my pro pointer got hooked around my detector. All right. Let me open this knife. That thing right there is crazy looking. Very, very sharp knife. I finally got it out of the sheath. Rusted in there. Wow, that is dangerous. Oh, 
this is unbelievable. I just looked down with my face mask and I was detecting right here in this area. And when I looked down, I seen a phone. Let's go get it. Unbelievable. Wow. Looks like an iPhone. That's a big one. Probably the 7 Plus. Could be the 6 Plus. I think there's water inside of it. No way. I can't believe I just found this. Awesome. Check it out, man. iPhone. Yeah. Wow. It's not turning on. So I'll take it home and put it in a bag of rice. Let's make sure that was it. Put this in my pocket. I think I just found another phone over here. It beeps on the detector right there. 80s, 90s. And there's something red. You can barely see it. Let's go down and get it. This one's had a rough life. Wow, two phones in a matter of minutes. That is just so cool. Put this one in the pouch real quick. We'll look at it more later. Let's go back under. Yeah, I found one phone right here and the other one just right there. And I found mine right there. Yep. So this must be the This is where they lose them. The phone alley. Oh, I'm shivering. <sighs> what is that? What is that? It's a rope. Oh. Yep. Whoa. It's <laughs> a rope. right there it looked like a carp I mean it must have been two feet long or more I'm so cold I'm shivering right now there's something down there I don't think I'm swinging directly over it but it beeps every now and then What's a small spoon like that doing out here in the river? That looks like a penny. It's very bright. Those are some of the prettiest trees.
Looks like we're back out in the swamp. There could be a gator out here. Keep your eyes peeled. T-shirt down here. It's wedged in between the rocks. Let's see what it says. A tank top, I think. Yeah. All right. Sun's out. Guns out. That's pretty cool. <laughs> May have to clean it off and wear it. We'll put it in the boat. A waterproof case too this might still work looks like a little bit of water leaked in there i don't know that is so cool wow let's recheck the hole make sure that was it that was it i think this case is already open yeah well might be able to dry the foam out I'll take it though. Third one of the day. Let's we'll see if we can find something else. Trees grow on rocks out here.
Another pair of shades to the collection. So I just got another iron signal down here. I was reading in the mid 30s. And I think I see it. It's under this rock here. Nice pocket knife. Wide open. Wow. I'll take that one. Looks like a tungsten ring. It was reading as a 53, so, but it's stainless. Awesome. Dug the pocket knife just right over there, so I haven't looked very far. Let's recheck this area. Another iron signal right there. Let's go under and see if we can find it. This one looks like a Kershaw knife. Wow. Very awesome. People are probably out here fishing. Nice. So I just found another ring down here. It's in the bedrock. Looks like the titanium one. The one I found earlier is actually titanium as well. This one's similar to it. Very nice. There's a coin down here in the same hole as the ring. downstream all day and we're finally at the last rapids that we're going to be searching and i just eyeballed something I haven't even picked it up yet it looks like a ten dollar bill that is awesome hey i'll take that buy me some snacks on the way home <laughs> let's see if we can find some more you don't find much cash in the river. It's usually hard to find. Surprised I eyeballed it. Alright. Let's see what we can get in here. Wow! Look at how fast the water's gushing down. That's a nice one. It's great. Hasn't been opened yet. I'll drink that here in a minute. I'm getting thirsty. Oh, what is this right here? <gasps> Colorful. I think it's just a can. Yep. There's another can. Looks like something else beside it too. Let's go down and get it. Just 
trash. I just eyeballed another cell phone down here. Let's go get it. Wow, that is crazy. This one might still work. Maybe, it's in a waterproof case. Wow, it's an iPhone. That is just so cool. Looks like a newer one. Maybe the 7 Plus. I don't know. There's so many of them, it's hard to keep up. Awesome. Time to head on out of here. It's about seven o'clock in the evening. Been digging since nine this morning. What an awesome day. I found so much stuff. I can't even remember everything I found. I have it in that big old plastic container right there. That's my finds box. So I'm gonna work my way back to the truck. Probably have a mile paddle, at least a mile. Once I get there, we'll get all this stuff loaded up and I'll show you all my finds when I make it back to the house. It's getting foggy out. That's cool. Really cool looking. Watch this turtle leap off into the water. <laughs> Deep swimming hole right here. exactly how deep let's check with the paddle here put the paddle down see if it touches the bottom whoa it's not touching that's crazy deeper than 10 feet this is a good place to come back and dive in probably won't be able to see nothing until you get down at the bottom with the big fish I'm sure there's phones and stuff in there though. I am back in from the river. Had an amazing hunt yesterday. These are all my finds. I have a lot of stuff here. I'm going to start out with the trash. You got the normal cans. You find a lot of them in the river. Ended up drinking the Powerade. That was really good. Bunch of pull tabs. Some batteries. String. Here's a vape. Some rusty needle nose pliers could probably clean those up and still use them 
this right here goes off of a cooler so you can lock it up there's the broken cell phone been there a long time have my shirt sun's out guns out have to wash that and start wearing it here's another one here also have a little washcloth somebody was probably using that while they're fishing a few pairs of sunglasses these are nice I did find some goggles like swimmers goggles more bungee cords rope the kayakers lose a lot of that stuff let's see have a whistle kinda unique another pair of pliers a little tiny spoon few lighters this one still works earring unfired bullet looks like a nine millimeter hollow point bunch of knives I tore it up on knives didn't I that one's my favorite the buck knife not sure what this one is and I have a Kershaw knife Ten dollars. You can't go wrong with that. Two titanium rings. You gotta love finding them. Just a few coins. Not a whole lot this time. I guess people don't carry change on the river there. A Dodge key. And we can't forget about the fongs. Found three fongs that are in decent condition. This one was the bad one. I was able to get this one to turn on. I charged it up, and as you can tell, it has a passcode on it. You can't get inside, and there's no service, so they deactivated it. I guess for now, I'll be keeping it till I can figure out whose it is. Thankfully, it was in a waterproof case. If it wasn't for that, it would have been completely ruined. This one here, I need to soak in a bag of rice I think it may turn on eventually this one's wet on the inside as well so overall had an awesome hunt I'm looking forward to getting back out there soon I hope y'all enjoyed the video thank y'all for watching please subscribe until next time y'all take care and God bless